Hey, what's going on guys, Skomagigans here. In this video, I'd like to share a web scraper template uh, that I'm using that I came so far uh, after scraping really lots of real estate property sites because they all are uh, all kind of like the same. And uh, as I've been mentioning already in some previous videos that uh, before, uh, like in in the early years, I was, I was like... Uh, trying to grab the either the postal codes or, or the list of cities from from somewhere say say from wikipedia or whatever and then just trying to generate the links to crawl through the entire site manually but that had uh, that approach had lots of data leaks and wasn't really that great basically so uh, the method i came up with so far is the following so it's not applicable to all the site out there but uh, it works with most with most of them so uh, obviously when you just navigate to um, home page of whatever real estate property site uh, usually it happens that down below uh, you'll find this list of subregions so uh, it also has some popular categories and things like that but uh, we are interested in this subregion so this is the mexican real estate property site and this well i'm not sure uh, how this this is called exactly like um, states or or regions uh, i just call them regions because uh it's kind of the same structure in whatever country uh, even though that every country has some different ways of how to divide its territory into smaller parts but anyway no, let's just try to pick up i don't know whatever and if we scroll down a bit again, then here we'll have the list of subregions. And if we just go to uh, a current given subregion, uh, well, this one doesn't really seem to have. Oh no, it, no, it does actually. And here we need say, uh, so let's let's see for the houses, uh, houses for sale here. And within this subregion, well, the idea is that we have only. So we need to have less than 50 pages. Yes, yeah, so, so here the last page is 26, which is okay because the site has restrictions uh, in regards to how many pages you can crawl basically. So only up to 50 pages. So uh, again, like if you just try to click uh, find all, like uh, in all Mexico, well, probably it's not in, in all Mexico. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is not in all Mexico. It's just trying to find properties in all the Mexico. Uh, let's just try to get rid of this. Oh, how can I? How can I? Okay, so we have uh, 400,000 results here, so really lots of, but uh, the problem here uh, that if, if you would if you would have tried to scrape like all the properties from this page you would, would fail because you can go to page number 50 and let's say you try to navigate to page like 51 it won't really give you it just redirects you to the, the very first page and that's a little bit of a pain obviously so in order to avoid this sort of a weird behavior, uh, we need to split mm, the entire country to regions and every region is preferably split to subregions. So uh, there would be a big list of uh, initial links to crawl, but uh, eventually every single link to crawl won't be having more than 50 uh, pages uh, on, a target, uh, uh, on a target route. So. That's kind of that's kind of pretty simple. Well, sometimes they have a, a limitation of uh, not 50 pages but 500 pages, that, which is which needs really smaller amount of mm, regions or subregions to crawl. So it it all depends on the circumstances behind. But uh, anyway, the principle is uh, is all way along the same. So uh, assuming this sort of a structure of most real estate property sites. Uh, I just want to show you the code I came up with. So this is the template. I, I just grabbed this from my latest project and try to remove some sensitive parts that, well, uh, I just want to say that this is just a template. If you just try to run it, it won't be working because it, it, it is intended to save you time from coding everything from scratch. And uh, I'm using this template in order to 
Actually, so uh, I'm actually pasting this file into a new project and then just altering the sensitive parts and uh, I just save time uh, when creating a new scraper from scratch. So I just want to quickly walk through uh, this the structure of uh, of this class basically and uh, just trying to highlight the important parts that we should take care of. So uh, first importing all the scraper related stuff. So we need the crawler process to uh, make make it possible to run this as a regular Python script without using the scrapey uh, scrapey crawl command, and not without uh, any need of creating a scrapey project. So pretty simple and straightforward solution here. Then I need uh, to import the selector that's needed in order to, in order to debug uh, uh, in order to debug selectors locally. So uh, I, I used to save uh, the response of the HTML I'm trying to scrape data from to the local file. And then using the selector object, uh, the selector constructor, I'm creating uh, a response object that mimics the real response that is re returned from the scrape request, but with the difference that it only contains the selector, uh, the selectors. So we, we can use it like response.css and then try to pick up the rights to the proper selector. So just for local debugging, well, sometimes URL lib is needed to encode the string query parameters, things like that. JSON is absolutely essential to. Uh, like extract e either extract the JSON data or uh, even more tr tr trivial implement uh, trivial usage of this just uh, trying to pretty print uh, the result the resulted the, the the data the data that has been uh, uh, that results the scrape in itself so here down below I have uh, my features dictionary which has all the data I'm scraping from the site so in order to pretty print these features I'm using JSON module so i hope that's good this, this is quite pretty clear and date time is used in order to give a file name that you're saving data to uh, current day time so just to distinguish like where it was actually scraped so nothing nothing complicated here and then uh the core part basically so this file relies on the residential sale.txt file well you can call this file however you want it doesn't matter really and the, the, the idea is that in the current working directory, so in exactly the same folder where, where you have this sort of uh, template, you need to have the file residential sale. And it should contain the list of links, the list of initial links you should you, you want to crawl through. Uh, so instead of just manually handcrafting that uh, crawling logic every time from scratch, you just uh, pass the this uh, the txt file so the formatting of for uh, for those links uh, i've been showing you this before but just to give you a rough idea of how that looks like just this is how it looks like so we just have a list of links separated by the new line and we're just crawling through all the links available so th this is one of one, one of the examples of my previous projects okay so the next thing to consider so we just uh parsing these links and uh, making a loop over uh, over the links, and I actually need to say this: so loop over uh, loop over uh, list of initial links to crawl. Okay, and for every link, we're making HTTP GET request, and again, like it. Uh, it fires the parse pagination uh, as a callback. So before this, uh, I was using some complicated uh, recursive logic, like uh, I was uh, going to the t target page, like, I don't know, like like which one to show you. Yeah, let's say like this one. And uh, I, was, uh, I started uh, parsing the links for every single property and then was navigating to, uh, I'm sorry, not like this. Then I was nav navigating to, uh, uh, the property itself is scraping the data and then when the list was exhausted uh, I was recursively calling uh, uh, the function uh, the same function just in order to update the page to page number two and so on but th that was a little bit too complicated and didn't always work, work properly so what am I doing now is much more simple and straightforward so uh, first uh, I need to extract the number of total pages so it can be done easily in most cases so here down below you see like uh, you have the number of pages 
So you need to extract the number of, well, in this case, is, this is 50. It might be less, so it's it, it can't be extracted from the source code. It's not a big deal, really. And as soon as we have this number of total pages, uh, we can then have the range of pages we're crawling through. So from page one to the number of total pages. And then we're just generating the link for a next page and crawling through all of those things. So quite pretty simple and straightforward. And again, like when we're crawling through uh, the range of pages, so for every page, uh, we're calling this parse links. And parse links uh, in its turn actually already extracts uh, the URLs for every single property and uh, then makes uh, HTTP GET request. So here, like uh, uh, this card selector, so just uh, so the cards would be the list of links that corresponds to these properties here. And then we, we, do, we, we make a loop over those cards and actually uh, call in every, uh, making an HTTP GET request to every URL in particular. And in, res in return, we, we were calling the parse listing callback. And this, this kind of last function, what it does is very simple. It just takes this like page as an input and scrapes all the data needed. And then just stores, uh, not stores, it just, uh, it, it depends the data to JSON alpha. So that's kind of pretty, very simple and very straightforward. So uh, I've, been, I've been successfully using this template uh, in, well, at least five recent projects. I had with my clients, so you know, like I think that it's better to start from this one rather than typing everything from scratch. And you, you, you saw <laughs> how my uh, uh, printing all this stuff from scratch really numerous times already. So I don't think that you would be interested to watch this like uh, again, again, and again. So uh, I'm gonna be well. By the way, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be scraping this side. This. Uh, is something that my client wants next and we'll go uh well i'll try to guide you guide you through the entire process of creating this like real estate property scraper with this new template that that has been mentioned in this video so the very first thing we would consider here would be uh, to prepare this initial links file which uh takes a little bit of, t of a time, but saves uh, much more time at, uh, at the very end eventually. So we'll first extract, uh, so just make some preparation. So extract this links, and then from this links, we would be extracting this, from regions, we would be extracting subregions, and then from the subregions, we would be extracting this like links, uh, using some Python tricks. And eventually we'll have a list of dislike links, really lots of them. Well, maybe not that much, but anyway. So it, it would be something like uh, I've been already showing you in this residential sales. So that, were, that would be file like this created. And then when dislike file is created, we can just make use of our template and start our crawling logic. And the only thing that would uh, left at the very end would be just to, you know, like extract the number of total pages here, which is not a big deal really total pages, then uh, extract the links for every property, and then just from every property, try to extract uh, all the uh, sensitive data, and we're done basically. So, so this saves really lots of time at the very end. Well, okay guys, so this is it from my side. Uh, I'll give you a link in the description below this video to this real estate property st template scraper. Uh, so mm, you would be able to follow the upcoming tutorials using this uh, this kind of piece of code. So I hope this is clear. Uh, this is it from my side. I hope to see you in the next videos on this Code Mac Against channel. Until that time, and take care.